Uh, it's the foundation and you also develop the power. The stun up slower than this, we are opening certain purpose. The stun speed up a little bit. Normally you will not see the movement. Actually slower than 5G. Alright? And moving from to the focus on the E5 is very short this way because it's developed by a female. It doesn't really stop. On the physical strength. It uses physics and trigonometry and triangle to deflect and uh, borrow the opponent's energy. Later you see the demonstration uh, the training is start relative. It has a short syllabus compared to a lot of uh, martial arts system. Uh, the wooden system only has three empty hand forms and one wooden dummy man and two weapons. The form is divided into three sections and it's trained from different stages and progress. The first step is to start slowly to develop energy. Next we'll be showing you based on this uh, first form, we'll pick up a few fundamental techniques the characteristics of the Winston system to demonstrate with the farmer. Okay, that's the end of our first fundamental form for Sirin Cars. Next you see here is a few basic characteristics of Winston. In Winston we do not attack the foot side of the flank. We attack the center line. When you attack the center line, you pop on full impact. And most attacks will be deflected away. The punch is not simple. Yeah. You attack the target instead of fighting with or chasing him or recording. Winton concentrates on simultaneous attack and defense at the same time and waits no motion. And we use the elbow to deflect our oncoming attack and get straight to the point. It doesn't look flowery and get straight to the point using the elbow as a wedge to deflect the punch and attack at the same time. Okay. Now for they are against grab, we both go with the flow and borrow the force. For somebody who are less weak and doesn't rely on physical force, if someone uses force against you, if you are not stronger than them, you can give it back to them and follow through and finish it. Next we'll uh, get a few, this is uh, our normal training routine, because after you learn the first form, uh, we will start to train with a partner. With a partner, you first learn with a single hand. Uh, the important thing is you learn to develop the sensitivity of your hand, where that can be lost in your visual reflexes. So then the hand develops to a sensitivity to a certain degree that you react and we automatically. As we all know, self-defense is dependent on uh, reflexes rather than your knowledge. It's not enough. So once you develop a feeling of your sensitivity of your arm, you guys want to do automatically. This is like our normal training routine that we do in class. Later on, you feel on to free style and any, any, any attack can happen at any time and it just react naturally. As you can see, things are not, not pre-arranged, things just happen spontaneously. In training like that, you develop a kind of reflex. Okay, now we would like to end this, uh, this is the end of our training routine. We will do this all the time in every training lesson. Thanks for your participation and attention. Thank you. Thank you, Kenny.